when I'm walking by, I know the truth is it's Mike and me, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I installed this wig step by step. This is a beginner friendly video. I took my time with this install, okay, baby, and it came out fire. Like, baby, this wig is fly. Okay, the part, okay, the hair, baby hairs, like everything is just like it's giving. So if you guys want like any tips or like any suggestions on when you're installing your hair, because I definitely did share a lot of tips that I've learned over like the past couple of months, then just stay tuned for the video. This hair is by you. Ulair, Eula. I don't know how to pronounce this. I really don't. This. This is the bag that it came in. I think it's Ulair. If I'm not mistaken, I really don't know. But if you guys want this wig, it will be in the description box below. And this wig already came this color. It already came burgundy, red, whatever color this is. So you don't need to dye it. Why not get it? Baby, get it. This wig really came out so much better than my other installs. I don't know why. I don't know what I did. Well, I took my time. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and continue watching to see how I body this install. Yeah, let's go. So I already um gel back my edges. It's low key been a while since I did a um a hair video without a voiceover. Like I said in the beginning, this is a beginner friendly video, like install. So I'ma like just share a lot of the tips that I just know. Cause a lot of my videos I just do like regular installs. It's just you watching me. But I'ma share some tips that I like learned from just like watching videos and just doing my hair so many times. This is just an install video. This is not really like a customization of the wig. Cause I already plucked it. I'm not bleaching this wig because i don't know like i'm just not going to and the wig is red so well it's like burgundy kind of so i'm not gonna bleach it it's just if it was black i would have but it's not black so yeah the only thing about this wig it has a, a smell it doesn't stink but like it smells like a processed wig kind of you know it doesn't stink though like I'll, i could cover this up with some product you want to make sure there's like a lot of space between like this and your hairline so you can spray all of this you don't want to spray this because this is thick you want to only spray this i always mess up my makeup during this part but it's all right it's fine <laughs> i'm literally gonna go step by step this is a step by step beginner friendly install so now once you have your wig cap on you want to cut the ears just so it's flat right here because if it's like just regular it's gonna be lifting a little right here and don't cut it too big like cut a little bit and then just put your ear around it See, something like this is valid see now this is flat flat so i'm gonna take my got to be free spray and i'm just gonna spray it Ooh, I just sprayed that in my eye. Don't do that. <laughs> but basically, I'm gonna spray this around my whole hairline, like an even layer, and then blow dry it to make it dry. And I'm gonna spread it out with my fingers just so it's not like an all in one place. And being that I have a big forehead, I spray a little bit like above my hairline just so like the wig could be right there. That's the one thing I love about having a big forehead. When it comes to wigs, you could put your, your wig a little bit more further and you have more space to put the lace. Because when I have when you have a small forehead, like there's no space to put the lace. So I'm gonna go with my blow dryer, but I'm gonna First of all, it's mad hair over this blow dryer. I'm gonna go in with the cool setting just so I don't know, it it cools fast. I mean it dries faster that way, so yeah. All right, so I just did that with two layers of got to be free spray. Now I'm just gonna cut off like the excess wig cap, but I'm not gonna cut like all the way down, like next to my hairline. I'm gonna cut like about right here. And then I just go ahead and cut off this part because you don't need that. <laughs> the whole entire wig cap is cut. And you see how like there's like a little bit of like lifting right here. So I'm going to cut as much of that off as possible. But the lifting that's still there, I'm going to go in with like free spray. Blow dry it down just so it's literally like flat. Like there's no lifting at all. So now you want to make sure like this blends into your skin so I'm gonna be using like one of my contour palettes a lot of people be using like the lace spray but I only use this for my wigs because it's not a lot that comes in here and yeah I just want to save it for my wigs so I just put makeup like all over the wig cap so it can like blend in so now what I do I take like a um I either take a rag or a wipe or whatever and I basically like wipe off all of the like excess makeup glue whatever it got to be free spray that I sprayed around my hairline that's not on the wig cap so when I put the glue it doesn't get like all messy Normally what I would like to do whenever the wig is on the wig head like I'll hot comb the hairs away So when I'm doing the install like there's no like flyaways and stuff But I'm gonna just have to do that on top of my head because I didn't do that on the wig head What am I looking for? Yeah, there's a lot of flyaways so you're gonna have to like hot comb the wig back You see how you can't even see the wig cap? That's how it's supposed to be When you cut the wig, the air tabs off it gives it like more flexibility to like move the wig around where you want I like this. I feel like this install is gonna come out nice Let's hope. Let's pray because sometimes it don't So I'm gonna be 
basically go with my She Is Bound hair wax stick. I talk about this in all of my videos. You guys already know. This get rid of all the flyaways. Like, if you have flyaways, get this. So I'm gonna, like, basically put the hair straight back, even though, obviously, I'm gonna part the hair. But I'm gonna do that after. And I just basically hot comb it straight back. And the goal isn't to get it, like, flat, flat. It's just to get the flyaways away. So, yeah. I forgot to put the, um, the lace spray on the lace. Not gonna put a lot, but this works better than makeup because makeup rubs off, you know, with, like, oil you sweat throughout the day. Okay, so now I just finished spraying the lace and this looks way better. Like, it looks like my skin color. I cut the lace into like three sections. Okay, so before I add any glue, I make sure that I know where to put the glue at. And you see like right here, there's a little bit of wig cap left. I'm gonna cut that off. And I'm gonna be using Ghost Bond. Alright, so I would say put about this much and then use like a stick or something or whatever. I use like a chopstick because this is what I have and I spread it out evenly you don't want to put like too much glue to the point where it's so much glue where it can't even dry in one layer and just to be sure that I know where I'm putting the glue at I like always go like that so I know how much I need or how much more I need so right here I definitely need a little bit more and a tip because I made this mistake so many times it's better to put like not enough glue than too much glue like let's say you put the glue all the way over here and the lace stops right here then you're gonna have all this excess glue so don't put too much glue because you can always go back and add more but right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my blow dryer on the cool setting and let this dry until it turns like a clear because right now it's white okay so the glue is basically almost dry so i'm gonna go ahead and add one more layer of the ghost bond don't add another layer until you see like this layer is basically almost dry basically like the same amount okay so i pretty much like spread that evenly and i'm gonna come back once it's dry so i can put the lace on all right so now that the glue is dry i can finally put hold on i need my mirror for this i can put the lace down this is the part that i get scared with because this is the part that literally like gets messed up <laughs> so you're gonna put the hair over basically where you just put the glue at you see all of this was where the glue is at that's where the hairline is at so now i'm gonna get a comb and i'm basically just gonna put the hairs back yes that came out mad nice normally i'll be struggling with this part so and basically i just repeat the same thing for these two flaps so i'm gonna go ahead and do like these two flaps off camera and come back when like everything is glued down and show you guys how i cut off the lace all right so i just finished gluing down basically like all of the sections and i didn't have any troubles all i did was be patient <laughs> and wait for the glue to turn clear because normally i just be in a rush now basically what i'm gonna just do is take like an eyebrow razor and razor the extra lace off and it's always better to use a razor than a scissor because everybody knows this like a scissor is just too harsh of a straight line Okay, so this is pretty much what it's looking like after I cut off the um, excess lace. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest of this. And then I go in like with my scissors just to get like any extra things that I can't get with the razor. Okay, so I'm done razoring off all of the um, excess lace. But now like I have like little pieces like that I didn't glue down. You see like like right here. I'm just now realizing that this lace spray isn't my color. Like it's a little bit lighter because my base is actually lighter than like around my, my hairline. So I'm gonna need to get like a darker shade. This is in the shade light warm brown. And I'm really light like. I'm very light. So I have like a little bit right here. I'm gonna put some. I don't know if you guys can see. Let me put my mirror this way. And then once I put like the glue down, I'm just gonna like go ahead and try to like blend in the lace. Okay, so I'm done like gluing everything down. I'm done cutting off the lace. I'm done like nothing else is lifting. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like wipe down everything with alcohol and then just start styling the hair. All right, I'm sorry for the quality change. Like, I literally had to change the camera that I'm using because my camera died and coincidentally, coincident, I don't know the word, that. Um, I can't find my charger or the ba or my second battery because y'all know I have two batteries, so when one dies, I just swap it out. 
can't find a charger, can't find a battery, so I have to order another one on Amazon, like, after I finish this video. Anyways, enough of that. I'm gonna do a side part, so... Alright, so I'm gonna part it, like, pretty much right here. Only thing is, I feel like I plucked a little bit too much right here. For the baby hairs, I'm just gonna, like, basically section off the whole front half of the hairline. I didn't pluck much on this side as much as this side, only because it's a side part, and I already knew I was gonna do that, so... Alright, I feel like this is pretty much good. You guys see everything? So now I'm gonna take the, um, the eyebrow that I was using to raise it off the where is it to raise it off the lace and I'm gonna basically like cut the baby hair shorter I've heard this from many people the shorter the baby hairs are the more natural it looks because if you make them really long they're gonna look like extra like you're doing too much it's not natural and I like a natural look so like I say about this length is okay you see how like these are really short all right so now this is the part where like I always mess up but this is pretty much like a freestyle part like you do this however you want like this is basically all up to you so I'm gonna use the rapid shine foam lotion this it's better than edge control when it comes to wigs, okay? Now I put some like right here and then I'm just gonna put some on the baby hairs or whatever. If you guys want like a, a separate video on how I do my baby hairs, then just let me know like an in-depth detail. And basically, like, whenever you, like, struggle to, like, swoop or whatever, just add more of the mousse or the foam lotion or whatever. This is gonna mess up your makeup if you have on some... All right, so as you guys can see, like I'm pretty much done with my baby hairs. That really gave me a struggle, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna just go ahead and like lay this down flat. And honestly, I ended up using a little bit of edge control only because the thing wasn't like holding down my baby hairs and it was taking me a long time. Normally when it doesn't take me such a long time, I only need to use the, the foaming spray. Okay, so basically while that dries and like sets in, I'm just gonna straighten his hair real quick. But yeah, this wig is low key kind of thin. It's thick right here and then it gets really thin at the ends. Like. I don't know what's going on. Don't get me wrong. I love this wig. It's just a little bit thin. I don't. This is probably like 130 density. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just going with some bio silk. You guys already know this is my holy grail. But yeah, this is just like to make the hair like really like shiny, silky, straight, all of that. I'm gonna put that all throughout the hair because I'm just gonna um go through the hair a couple of passes with the flat iron. But I am gonna like flatten out this wig once I take the scarf off because this definitely needs to be flattened out with the hot comb. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing it like this. This is not. <laughs> How I should be doing it. All right, so I'm pretty much done straightening it. I already did this color. You guys already saw me do this color, but like, this is kind of like a different type of burgundy because it's not like a bright, bright, bright red because I've done bright, bright, bright red. But I'm going to take off this scarf just so I can flatten this out and then I'm going to be done with this way. We're going to see. I'm scared. Baby. First of all, these baby hairs, like, can we get into them? All right, so basically, I'm gonna just take, like, this whole entire section, because this needs to all be flattened out. It's ridiculous. And I'm gonna just start with over here. I'm gonna clip this, like, right here. All right, so boom. I'm gonna take my Shea's Bond hair wax stick, and I'm basically gonna flatten this out. I have to flatten out every single, like, section leading up to over here, if, you, if that makes sense. This is how, like, I'm gonna get my wig to be really, really, really flat. Flatten that part out. See how that just like flattened out? That's what I need the whole wig to do. And I'm basically just gonna do that to every section. So, see, I'm parting this, moving it this way. There's probably a quicker way to flatten out a wig, but this is how I'm gonna do it just to make sure every single like piece is flat. Cause I literally can't stand a bulky wig. Like I just can't have a bulky wig. Do you guys see how flat that is? Like, imagine this was a middle part. That's mad flat. Who's telling me what? Damn, I'm feeling the middle part. Damn, I really don't know. Middle part or side. Babe, come here, I need your help. Babe, what you think? Should I do a middle part or side part? Said yeah. Like, that will be the middle part. Or? Or the side part. 
Hold on, go back to the middle. Right? It's like, damn. Why is she her? so beautiful? They stop. All right, I think I'm jacking middle. I like the side. The side part is mad cute, though. Middle? Yeah, side part is dead mad cute, though. I could switch it up. You could. No, I want to do side for right now, and then I'm going to do middle. All right, let me flatten this out one last time. Damn, I've never been that indecisive about a part. That's how you know a body, like, mad flat. Baby, it's giving. Oh, wait, I forgot to add concealer. I'm bugging. It's not giving to you. Compared to my last install, guys, y'all don't even understand. My last install was not it. My last install was the pink hair. And, like, after I filmed that video, it was so, like, it just wasn't it. Y'all see the part? Y'all see it. All right, so I just finished adding concealer. That definitely helped with the part. Yeah, and now I'm done. I really love the way this came out and being that like I did step by step like really carefully I showed you guys everything I feel like that's why it came out like neater than usual because if I'm rushing like it's not gonna come out like neat and stuff so tip don't rush like take your time if you guys want any like more hair tutorials on how I do anything hair colors all of that just let me know thank you L U hair I don't know how to pronounce this wig I don't know where's the bag hold on I don't know how to pronounce this like L Eller Euler, Euler, but thank you for sponsoring this video. Baby, if you want this wig, everything will be down in the description box below. And just follow the steps that I did to get a fire install too, baby, period. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos of me, period. I don't know why I keep saying period. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.